What is up you guys, it's Allie and I'm here with another video. So I haven't done a news video in quite some time, but this was some interesting spicy news, so I thought I'd want to uh, talk about it with you guys, because I kind of have um, some interesting thoughts on the up, cam up can I speak? upcoming DC movie slate, and I think that this news really does affect that. So it's reported that James Gunn is going to be start uh, is going to start filming uh, Suicide Squad 2 in September of this year, and then potentially wrap by, I believe they said, like, June 31st, 2020, so the last day of June. Um, that would obviously just be principal photography, and then they would need, you know, additional photography, and obviously, you know, all the back-end stuff of, like, CGI and all, all the post-production stuff. Um, that is exciting news, though, because... Um, Suicide Squad isn't actually set to release until August of 2021, so it's like, you know, uh, they did that August release date for the first Suicide Squad, which was extremely successful for it. Obviously, it kind of had a huge drop-off because the reviews for it weren't so great, but yeah, so this is kind of exciting news, and it makes me think that that release date might end up getting moved up, um, because as you can see, what we have next... Um, what we thought that, that what DC was going to be doing was like a two year, um, uh, two, well, two movies each year kind of thing. So right now, obviously we had Shazam earlier this year and we're going to have Joker in October, which looks fantastic. Birds of Prey, we haven't seen anything of that really other than like a small little, um, clip reel thing, kind of almost like test shooting and stuff and some photos from on-set, like, leak photos and everything. Um, so that's coming out in February of next year, and then Wonder Woman is coming out in June of next year. And so that's all that they have for 2020, so I wouldn't honestly be surprised if they want another December release date. Obviously, Aquaman did so well in that December release date, and December 2022 is when Aquaman 2 is going to be coming out. So it seems like setting up a pattern for December release dates for DC movies would be a good idea because obviously Star Wars has kind of been moving away from doing December release dates and they're going to be supposedly taking a break after um, the next few movies, which will open up the um, space to release DC films. And Aquaman just got right into that pocket last year and just totally stole the show from everyone else deservedly so it's a very very good movie but yeah so i think if they want to stick with that december release date schedule that would be very beneficial for dc movies as we have seen with aquaman so far um so yeah i wouldn't honestly be surprised if they do end up shooting starting shooting in september that they would have the movie ready by december 2020 or maybe even November, just depending on when they would want to release it. It is a Suicide Squad movie, so it seems odd for like a Christmas time release date, but so did Aquaman, and yet it worked so well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with the third uh, DC film in 2020, um, because it just seems odd for them to sit on a movie like this, um, for them to start filming so soon and then have it completely done edited and everything and then just sit on it until 2021 and like not early 2021 not like january 2021 literally august of 2021 that's eight months in so that's a lot of time to wait for that so i wouldn't be surprised if they move that up and um you know surprise everybody with maybe even moving aquaman up to december of 2021 uh, to go along with the Batman, which would be a fantastic DC year, if I might say so myself. Um, <laughs> big DC fangirl right here, if you couldn't tell. Okay, but yeah, this is exciting news. You guys can let me know your thoughts on this uh, news down in the comments down below, and your thoughts about it, and I will catch y'all next time. Bye!